I apologize in advance for the quality of the beginning of this video. I had done my twist out during the day. This is a two strand twist out. Um, and it didn't dry till nighttime when the natural sunlight had gone. So I'm in artificial lighting and it sucks for recording videos. Sorry about this. But this is just me taking the twists down and then separating the twists for uh, more volume. This is just after separating all the twists. You can see that it has more body now, but it's still flat and it's still very shrunken. So what I ended up doing is pineappling overnight, and uh, this is the result. You know, now my hang time is looking a little better, but it's still kind of flat. So um, what someone was asking, or a few people were asking, how to use a pick. Um, now, it depends on what you're trying to do, but if you want to maintain your curl definition the way I do when I use a pick, you're gonna go straight at the root and just lift. And I used to do this all the time. I don't, I guess I never did a video about it. Um, but you can see one side is already more voluminous than the other. And that's really all you're doing. You're concentrating at the root and pulling straight up and it's separating the curls at the root to give you that body that you want. And you just basically go all around your head, you know, to your liking, to um, how big or small you want it. The main idea is to leave the ends alone so you can maintain the um, the curl definition. And the reason I'm using a pick on this twist out, I usually use picks when I'm doing twist and braid outs um, because they leave my hair so flat that I like the added volume. Um, when I do a wash and go, my hair gets so huge that it's not necessary to use a pick at all. Um, real fast, I just saw Taryn's video about how she gets her big perfect fro, and um, <laughs> I didn't see that until after I recorded how to use this pick video. It was very interesting watching her video um, in the sense that I really can't do or agree with everything that she says with my own hair. And I love Taryn, don't get me wrong at all, I love Taryn, she's it was a huge inspiration, but I wanted to make a point that everyone's hair is so different and you really need to take other people's hair advice, you know, about what they do with their hair and make it your own. So, you know, she was saying how um, to achieve a big fro, she doesn't section her hair when she's putting in product. I always section my hair. If I don't, I will have zero curl definition. And she even says it's not about curl definition. It's about having a big fro. I love a big fro, but I also love my curl definition and I can achieve both. And so can she. Her hair is just different from mine. Um, so the way that she just kind of rubs the product all through her hair works for her. She also says not to part your hair, to just kind of let it fall, you know, where it may. And I had actually put a picture up on Instagram the other day. I, I was an old uh, flat twist out, or not even a flat twist out, I just took flat twist out and just kind of rocked it and it got wet because I was at the water park and it was doing what it wanted. And someone asked, how do you get that look, you know, with, with no part? So, and I always get the question on how do you get a part? So everybody's just different, you know, that's it, a, um, a preference thing. And I don't think that's going to change your hair from being big or flat. She also uh, made the point that um, curly girls 
I have to use a diffuser to get more volume, you know, otherwise it kind of dries flat. And I know a lot of people are asking me, how often do I diffuse or do I use a diffuser at all? And a lot of people don't know that, or so they say what my real texture is. I do wash and goes for the most part. I'm trying not to. This is, like I said before, a two-strand twist out. But when I do my wash and goes, like I said, I section my hair. You've seen the, if you've seen the video, I section my hair. I put a lot of product on. I do not diffuse. Only time I ever diffuse is in the winter, you know, if I'm going outside and it's cold or if I have to leave somewhere and where I'm going, you know, it's not going to air dry fast enough. But I always air dry and my hair always gets huge. Um, and my only purpose in saying all of this is that everyone's hair is so different. I really thought my hair as I was transitioning was going to look a lot more like Taryn's and it it just doesn't. It's completely different. She doesn't like heavy products. I do. I love, you know, the, the shea butter and um, the coconut oil because it, it gives me the weight. My hair stands up all the time. I don't have to do anything to get it to stand straight up, whereas it's a, more of a process for her. She has to pick it out, and I never use a pick only when I do styles like this because it is so flat. So really, a style like this makes my hair more like hers. And the process she does makes her hair more like mine. That's all I wanted to say was everyone's hair is different. Definitely check out Taryn if you haven't. If you haven't, I can't imagine how that's possible. <laughs> um, and check out other, you know, YouTubers because everyone's hair is different. You don't know exactly who has hair like yours until, you know, you've seen a few or you experimented enough with your own to know how to manage it. So, and I know most of my videos aren't necessarily hair care. And there's a reason for that because that's my biggest thing. Everyone's hair is different. I'm here to help you, you know, style and manage it because I feel like most people can achieve the same styles. But um, as far as taking care of your hair, definitely just experiment, period. All right, <laughs> rambling, that's enough. Just wanted to make that point. I will see you all in another video soon. Bye.